Hello dear colleagues, today I want to show you how to set up the Weber Medical Endolaser device. You see the device is still packed in this carton and I take it first out of the package. Okay, and put it on this trolley. You see this is the electronic device and this is the grab handle. So with this one you can bring it in a different position. So you have, if you want to change the position, you have to pull the screen pieces back with your thumbs and then you can move it. So in the next step, I take the holder plate for the different laser models and we can put it on the device and you see there are four holes with which we can fix the holder plate with the screws on the device. So now we put in the screws in the holes directly over the holes in the electronic device and now I fix them with this drill machine. So in the next step we take out the laser models and the different cables and fibers from the package. So now I take out the different laser models from the protecting uh, foil. So now I unpacked everything from the box and you see we have all this equipment here. In this device now we will connect um, uh, ultraviolet diet, yellow laser, red, green, blue lasers and also uh, six uh, infrared lasers. For better recognition we uh, made the optical fibers in different colors. You see this is violet for ultraviolet, yellow, blue, red, green and the black ones for infrared. Also here you see the small connectors with which we can uh, connect the fiber optics for interstitial or intra-articular or intravenous therapy. So in the next step we have to connect the cables, the power supply cables to the laser model. So this is a green laser model and you have to connect the cable very carefully, not with much pressure. So first of all you set it here you turn slowly and then it's going inside and then you can fix it by turning. So now you can see that we put in the intravenous laser with low power, only 5 milliwatt, on the left side in the holder plate and the stronger 100 milliwatt infrared lasers on the right side of the device. So I will now connect one infrared laser to the infrared channel on the back side of the device. It's the same procedure like connecting the cable to the model. Again carefully I go to the plug-in. You see it's not working now and now I turn carefully and then it's inside and then I can fix it by screwing. So you see that I have connected the red laser to the red plug-in and all the other ones, the so-called freak channels, you can connect any laser. So in principle you can connect any laser to each channel. The only thing is that you know which laser is connected to which channels at the end. You should write a small list and put it on the device that you know exactly on which channel all the different lasers are connected. Here you can see that all lasers are now connected to the device and plugged in. Here you can see two extra cables with connection. These cables belong to the uh, yellow laser and the ultraviolet one. These lasers 
are new developments and very difficult to manufacture. They need a lot of uh, power supply, so we have to connect them with an extra power supply, but they will be regulated by the electronic laser device. So you see I connect this now. The yellow and laser and the ultraviolet one uh, needs cooling. So there is an additional fan inside, therefore the, the laser models are such big and if I want to start them, I use this switch to start the cooling fan. You can hear this. So in the next step I connect the power supply for the device and this will be plugged in for getting the electricity. On the back side is the main switch, which is now on zero, but to switch the device on, I put it on one. And normally you can let it on one because we have additional key switch in the front. But if you are out of your clinic for a long time, then it might be better to put it on zero. Now I have turned the device again so that I can show you exactly how it works on the display when we switch it on. So now I will show you how we connect the optical fiber to the different lasers. First of all, I take out this small connector, remove the black cap and fix it at the end of the cable because this is the special adapter later for the laser catheters. The other end now will be screwed into the laser module. So the fiber is now connected and I put it here in this hole of the holder plate. So you remember that I switched on already the main switch on the back side. We have an additional switch that's so called key switch I switch it on and you now see that the display is working. There is a third switch on this device, a so-called emergency switch, what you will find on any laser device on the market. So if the patients have any problems, pain or get excited, you can press the emergency switch and the device switch off immediately. To get it working again, you turn the emergency switch to the left side comes out and the device is working again. So now let's have a look on the display after switching the device on. You see in total 12 channels on the touchscreen display which is according to the plugins on the back side. So you find infrared, green, blue, red and the eight free channels. And you remember we have set the 5 mW red on red, the 5 mW blue on blue, the 5 mW green on green and on F1 we have uh, put the 5 mW yellow and F2 the 5 mW ultraviolet red light. After switching on the device is in a so-called preset. That means we have already preset a running time, a treatment time of 20 minutes and if I switch the lasers on, they all will run on 50% power. So I show you an example. I switch the red laser on. I press start and now it will work for 20 minutes with 50% power. And here you can see the red laser beam. Same the green one. I switch off. I go to the green one, start again, and now you can see the green laser working with 50%. So, if I want to change the power now for the patient, maybe I want to use the full 5 mW power, I have to change to 100 mW. And if I want to change anything on the device, I press set and now I'm in the set mode. In the set mode now I can change the time 
up to 60 minutes. I go back to 20 minutes. And I can change the power of the different groups of the device. We have three groups in total between 1 and 100 percent. So in the first group we find the red, green, blue and in the second group we find the ultraviolet and the yellow one and two of the infrared ones and in the third group we find four additional infrared ones. So now I'll show you how to change. So I want to bring the red laser on 100 percent. I'm on 50 percent. I'm going up 100% I press OK I check again time and power OK and you can see here now for the first group 100% and I switch my red laser on now this is my green laser you see the power is a lot higher let's do it with the red laser switch off and on again you see the light is much stronger than before it's a very nice laser beam. In this case what I did now the laser is running in a continuous wave mode that means it's running all the time with the same power. Some people like to work with different frequencies also I can use frequencies on this device. I'll show you how we can do this. I go to the set mode and then I go to the frequency mode and I want to set a specific frequency maybe on the red laser so I press red and then you can see in the screen that we have already preset different frequencies so there are acupuncturists using the so-called Nogia frequencies bar or Rhine meridian, Rhine meridian frequencies but maybe I want to set a free frequency myself I press here and then maybe I want to use a frequency of 10 Hertz you see 10 I confirm the 10 for the red laser I will not change anything else so it's okay so I don't want uh, any other one press OK and now I start my red laser and you see the red laser is now working with 10%. If I want to make it even more complicated, I can set a different frequency on the green laser. So I go in set mode again, frequency mode. I check the green laser. And then I want to put in a very low frequency, maybe 5 Hz only. I press OK. OK no other frequency, confirm everything, press green and press start. And now you can see that the red and green are working on different frequencies. So I can put up to 12 diff different frequencies on each laser. Okay. So in the next step I will show you the different sterile products what we uh, use for our treatments. For intravenous treatment we are using a 21G butterfly which is connected to an extension tube. We use this one because working with this is more clean so if we put the needle in the bloodstream we can see the blood running back here and not running out of the needle and we, we can make sure that we really put the needle in the right position. When this is done, I can deconnect the extension tube and put in the sterile plastic catheter. A little bit turning and it's jumping inside. And now this system is ready for intravenous treatment. And now I will connect it with our lasers, maybe a green laser. And now you can see that the laser light is coming out right on the top of the needle inside the bloodstream. For interstitial or intraarticular laser therapy, we are using these products. This is a so called interstitial needle. We can use this 
for puncturing of joints or maybe on the spine and also we use it for interstitial photodynamic therapy of cancers to bring the laser beam very close to the treated area, maybe in a joint or maybe also close to tumor tissue. So first of all we put this needle inside in local anesthesia and this needle has a length of 4 cm and once it's inserted in the tissue or in the joint I will put in my laser catheter, fix it by screwing and then I can connect it again to the laser and then you see the right is coming out in a pure form directly into the body wherever it is used in a joint, the spine or maybe used for photodynamic treatment for destruction of tumors. So after the therapy I switch off first the extra power supply so the fan, the cooling fan stops running and I turn my key switch and everything is done.